going to kind of look forward into the future to the postseason and where the Lions stand at this very moment. JB, you can put up the graphic. Who the Lions are facing in the postseason at this moment. Look at that. Packers are holding on by a thread, by the way. Uh, they, they, I mean, Tommy DeVito, you know, I gave him the envelope um, and he handled business, you know, under, you know, Tommy, take care of business. He said, say less. <laughs> and, he, and he did it. And they took care of the Packers. Packers are holding on. The Rams are chasing them. A lot of teams in the NFC. NFC in just general is very balanced after the top teams. It's just a lot of teams that are a little under 500 or 500. Now, you see it right there. The 49ers have the one seed. I think they'll hold on to that. We'll see. Dallas Cowboys are coming. They're at number two. They would face off with the Green Bay Packers at this very moment. The Lions would take on the Vikings. And, of course, the Eagles would take on the Buccaneers. Now, I like this matchup. They should beat them. But at the same time, at this point, I don't give a damn by how much they beat them by. I don't care. Nick Mullins, he stinks. Uh, but at the same time, the Lions defense typically makes these quarterbacks look pretty good. I, I, I just, you know what? Please, Lions, just win a playoff game. <laughs> I, I honestly, that, that is all I ask. I just want to be able to come on this show and recap a playoff win. That is all I ask. And you have the Minnesota Vikings, who don't even technically right now have a quarterback. They, you know, if you have, if you have Nick Mullins and Josh Jobs, you don't have a quarterback. Mm, yeah. They have multiple quarterbacks. You got none. Okay, that's how that works. And the Lions should beat them. That's all I ask. I like it. And who knows how it shapes up. I know I talked about it earlier. The Rams are sneaking up. There's other teams that are kind of right outside the playoff push. But as of right now, you take on the Vikings. Yeah. No, and the funny thing is, is that I think we all agree. Sometimes I don't value it quite as much as somebody. I think everybody probably in this chat would agree that the most important position in football is the quarterback. And I don't think that's controversial in the slightest bit. But just look at this. When you look at the playoff picture right now, at some point you just have to say, it's Nick Mullins and just do a cheer at this point and just end that end their season right away because you look at the quarterbacks in the NFC right now the 49ers Brock Purdy the Cowboys Dak Prescott the the Packers Jordan Love who's also a bit of a question mark but he's an actual legitimate starting quarterback the Lions Jared Goff the Eagles Jalen Hurts the Buccaneers Baker Mayfield I know we sometimes clown Baker Mayfield but he has had some moments he's has had some good moments and he has even though I think it was more about the running game they did win a playoff game in Cleveland with Baker Mayfield at quarterback and then with the Minnesota Vikings Nick Mullins at some point you just have to say it's Nick Mullins and just vanquish them because as despite the fact that you often see Cinderella's win a playoff game quarterbacks like Nick Mullins usually don't win playoff games particularly as underdog 